let's get right to it. So, the thing is with Jupiter, as Christianity was described in an Anglo-Saxon manner to convey Christian ideas and things, the same case was for Roman deities, right? So, and we'll, in this video, we're going to be talking about Jupiter, the king of the gods, if you will. Let's move right on. So, how was Jupiter, or if you will, Jove, translated into Old English? However, before we can answer that question, what is most associated with Jupiter? Thunder, right? Or lightning bolts, or what have you. So, uh, Jove or Jupiter was translated in Old English, as the literature presents us, as Thunor, Thunar, Thur, right? So, this is a translation of Jupiter, and this is taking uh, a loose and, if you will, obvious, evident uh, attribute of Jupiter and calling uh, Jupiter that. So it's like the one associated with thunder, the thunder god, if you will. So we have Jupiter. And, however, uh, this is something really important because a lot of people get this wrong or have this idea that... Um, that this translation of Jupiter, however, I, I just need to say this, that ho however, just because this is, this, this is a translation of Jupiter does not mean Thunor, the deity, as in Woden's son, is Jupiter king of the gods. This is nonsensical. Because we know from Germanic literature that Woden is the king of the gods, Right? So you're mixing two literatures, you're making this incoherent uh, system, if you will. You know, just as if I were to say water in English, Wasser in German, Water in, in uh, Dutch, it's still water. S similarly, if I'm saying, you know, the king and the gods, okay, what's his name in, um, in, in Latin? Uh, Jupiter. Uh, what's his name in, uh, in Old English? Uh, Woden. Old Norse, Odin, etc., etc., right? Um, and the reason some people come to this conclusion uh, is due to very uh, superficial analysis and not, consi consi uh, not con taking in consideration the, the role of each deity in question plays in the, in the pantheon of the gods. But moving on, so Thunor, is, a, is actually a loose translation to the deity, king of the gods, Jupiter, which calls to one of his attributes. It could have been any word associated with Jupiter, but in the historical record, it happened to be that Thunor, the one that shares the same name as Woden's son, uh, Thunor. Right? So that's something to bear in mind. All right? And we have here on the left of Germanic, we have Woden, king of the gods, and his son Thunor. Very straightforward. Uh, in the Roman literature, we have Jupiter, king of the gods, and his name translated uh, into Old English as Thunor. And you could very well say that this is rather an epithetical name, uh, rather than the name uh, proper as an epithetical name. Like, he... It's like with this with this appellation of Thunor, it's like saying he who who is associated with thunder, if you will. All right, moving right on. However, it's important to bear in mind that at this period, um, especially uh, during the advent of Abrahamism in the West, uh, you know, with Christianization, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it was not in the interest of the of these clergymen to try to correlate. Uh, deity from one culture to another accurately, key word accurately, which we'll go a little in depth later. For them, all deities before the advent of Abrahamism in the West are all are all devils, and that such worshippers worshippers should forsake them and submit to Yahweh. Okay, because for a clergyman back then, they didn't like what 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 matter did it did did it to them. Uh, if that makes sense, you know, oh, what are the, whether it's Jupiter or Woden or this or that, it's all devils anyway, you know, because for the Abrahamist, it's only Yahweh that's God and everything else is, is um, in, insignificant and, and in fact should be blotted out in their view. So here we have an excerpt 
from Wolfstan's On the False Gods. Uh, and this is uh, calls to uh, regarding uh, Jupiter and Thor and, and this and that. But um, without further ado, I'm just going to read out my translation. It is a clunky translation. I won't read it uh, verbatim. Rather, I'll just read it in a proper word order so you guys can understand it. Because the word order is pretty clunky and I did this on purpose for those learning the language. Anyway. Uh, to save time, I'll just read the translation. This false god, uh, aka Mercury, was honored also between all heathens in the in the days, and he is Odin called. In other name, in Danish wise, uh, in the Danish way, uh, Odin he's called in the Danish way. Now some say, uh, or now say some uh, that the Danish men in their error that. The Jove <clears throat> were who they call Thor, Mercury's son, who they uh, they who they na Odin name. Yeah, the word order is pretty clunky here, but forgive me, please bear with me. But they do not have it right at all. They don't have it right at all because we read in books in heathen or in Christian that the evil Jove, in truth or if you will, to sooth, is Saturn's son. So we have a um, interesting. Uh, excerpt here which goes to show that Wolfstan's uh, understanding of Germanic um, uh, spirituality is is uh, pretty messy well not only that it's just the translations of it is because uh, the word Thunar is very vague you know it's it's doesn't you know like okay he's the one associated with thunder well there are plenty of deities out there associated with thunder it's like saying oh the deity of strength well there are a lot of gods out there and goddesses associated with strength so it's pretty vague of itself and hence you have this confusion whatnot so but just to go a little further just to sum this up so according to wolfstan uh he's saying the danes are saying that jove in his mind thor jove is mercury's odin son right the, the, the name and translate see what, what's tripping people up is the translations it's the loose translations uh uh, of these Germanic gods, or, or uh, sorry, forgive me, of, the, of these um, of these Roman gods, which are it's causing the confusion. You know, it, like these loose translations um, are not really helping. You know, um, I would think that you know possibly that these loose translations uh, date back to uh, uh, Tacitus's uh, Germania. Um, so, but as well, um, Wolfstan says that Saturn. Uh, Saturn's son is Jove, uh, aka Thor. So uh, Thor, uh, Thor, uh, really thunder, uh, Jove translated. So you have this really big confusion of like who's who and this and that, and this is due to fo uh, poor translations. Perhaps whether this was on purpose, maybe to make a uh, 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 non-Abrahamic spirituality to seem nonsensical and and, and silly. Uh, and, and, and to make Abrahamism seem more coherent and uh, proper uh, and straightforward, right? So, when clearly uh, Odin is, is the king of the gods in the Germanic literature and Thor is, is his son, and, um, and, and with the Greco-Roman literature, we have Saturn, uh, who's, who's um, I don't, I don't, Saturn's not the king of the gods, but his son, uh, Jove, is the king of the gods. So you you have a little... So translation is a pretty pretty messy here. Um, right. I, I think I'll just move on from that. As well, uh, regarding this period and, and what happened to the uh, pre-Abrahamic peoples and, and their beliefs, is that we have to be honest about this. These Abrahamist uh, missionaries that came to Britain and elsewhere were not open and tolerant as people like to pretend that they were. These people wanted wanted conquest and power over others, and this is very evident uh, in the laws that have been passed down from king to king throughout the Anglo-Saxon period and, and elsewhere too. So, to go a little further, even the days of the week in Old English are, are really translations of the Roman days of the week. So, for the day of Jupiter, we have Thundres Dai or Thures Dai. So, really, day of Jupiter or day of thunder, right? So, moving right on. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. And if you really like the channel, please become a patron at my Patreon page down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.